Hey YouTube, I thought show people that are interested in audio stuff. I might do more audio as well. How I listen to tunes on the go. I know most people have an iPod or they just stream shit on their phone, but I don't know. Since high school, actually, great, very late grade school, like when I was in grade seven or six, I got my dad's first Walkman. My mom gave it to me, and uh, I don't have that anymore because it broke, but. It was a 90s thing, but, I, but I've but i always been in the 80s. So at first started out as, well, I like the 80s, so I should have a Walkman. That's cool. I like Marty McFly. But then it turned out that the Walkman sounds better. And Molly, the hell? She's like behind my movies. Anyway, the Walkman does sound really good. And if you get a good chrome tape, it's like way better than an iPod could sound. Like I think even better than a FLAC, personally. But like, do you know how, how much that fell up? The FLAC files are huge. But anyway, yeah, so, I mean, the headphones aren't the greatest. These are the original OEM headphones that came with this walk. I mean, I have the box. One of them's up on that speaker up there. But yeah, I, I carry this around. I, I either clip it to my belt or I just stick it in a pocket. I stuck that stupid sticker there. I don't know why. But it's even got a tuner on it. EM, FM. Auto reverse. Dolby. I don't use the Dolby very often because it doesn't sound very good. It's just Dolby B anti-rolling mechanism which is good because I've had Walkmans in the past that didn't have that and uh, basically if you shake the Walkman it goes whoa 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 like it's, it stabilizes the tape when it's moving but yeah someday I'd like to get like a really expensive one this one's like metal it's heavy it's, it's Panasonic so I always found the Panasonic boomboxes Walkmans VCRs there's a very good chance if it was taken care of it'll still work like it doesn't need a belt change I don't know why that it's like that, but it is. Um, they must have used good rubber. Or the whole mechanism doesn't rely. I don't know. But I used to carry... Here's an example of what I'd carry out of my backpack in high school. Some of these tapes are old. Some of these tapes are new. Because I still make mixtapes. But it's like a cassette holder. And then I make tapes. Those are my hard and heavy volume. Hard and heavy. Uh, these are on... Uh, XL2 is my max L. Let's put music on there. Yeah, volume one. So this one was like, I had a printer and I was like being fancy. And metal two for its two albums on one. Just dub my tape my albums onto on a cassette. <laughs> Cacophony go off and testament new order. That's actually a good mix, and it's done on a Sony EOCX90. Yeah, here's an older one. Let's see what year this one's from. Oh, it's not that old, 2015. I wouldn't have been in high school by then, though. Uh, that's kind of sloppy on the back, but it's just a generic thin case Fuji. Made this one the other day, I don't, other week or whatever. Yeah, candle mass. Lizzie Borden. This is a dub of a double vinyl I have. Yeah, Murderous Metal Roadshow. Oh, it's another candle mass. Oh, I must have did that twice by mistake. TDK. Another TDK. This is a treat. That's a hair, more hair metal. Scratch and bite and the pleasure principle. Put it on one tape. No thought of reverse. You don't flip. Here's an older Metallica one I made. Doesn't say though. So, which one's on there? Master Puppets and So Far So Good So What by Mini Bits. And Alcatraz. Love Alcatraz. That's song, Hiroshima, Mon Amour, or whatever that French, it's French. Uh, yeah, it's a really good song. And all, God Bless the Radio, or, or whatever track. It's all Wasp. You have to start a Wasp tape. A Wasp, a wasp tape. With fuck like a beast. You have to. It's the law. I don't want to hear anything else. This is a rare vinyl. I'm afraid to play because I've never heard of them. Hallow's Eve. It's pretty good. It's thrashy, punky metal. I found it at a thrift store, at least around here, called Orbit, downtown Kitchener, Ontario. And uh, it was like six bucks. And I, I just don't play it much because I'm afraid it might be like not really worth money but it's like I don't want to you know so I dubbed it onto here 
And I, there's my, there's my version of the Metal Blade Records from 2016, I guess. I swear I draw better than that. Plus, dude, I'm gonna put Vinnie Vincent Invasion. Cause why not? These are just tapes I made. I have a wall of tapes over there. Heavy metal, rock, and then some 80s pop. And I have some hip hop, like DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince. I feel like that. But yeah, I have boom boxes too that I listen to, but they're in various states of functionality. Like I have this really nice boom box uh, made by Panasonic, and the cassette deck works great on it. But the tuner, the FMAM tuner, it's dead. It just does nothing. You might sometimes it won't even give you static. It's just silence. I have no idea why. I paid very little for it on eBay. It's not damaged or dropped or cracked. It's just the tuner there doesn't work. Which is like, okay, I guess I could just listen to tapes or an iPod or something through the jack. But it's like sometimes I just throw the tune, the the radio antenna up and listen to the radio. You know, I don't know. Then uh. Yeah, some CRTs. My grandpa's old fan, robot fan. But yeah, I got all kinds of crazy junk around here I can be showing off to YouTube. Not show off, but like share interests, video games. I do have a flat screen though, and a, uh, and a PS4, so that's modern as it gets. And a DVD player. Although I do, this TV here, the flat screen, Strictly just PlayStation for YouTube and games, and I was, I have lots of Blu-rays, but I play them sparingly. I don't know. I like this TV the best. I play video games on it. Watch VHS, Betamax, cable. Well, I don't my cable. I don't. I don't think I'm hooking on the cable, but I have the antenna. I have a rooftop antenna, and I watch that. Yeah, retro was fuck because my brain likes that. But yeah, that's what I rock. I don't. It started out as just like, I'm cool because I have this, and then I realized because I have on an 80 gig iPod, I don't like the way the iPod sounds. You have to always download, and some of the music I like is harder to find, so you have to download like a Pirate Bay copy someone made on there, and it sounds like crap because it's like a compressed MP3 file, and you know for 25 cents I can probably score it off eBay or for cheap or not 25 cents on eBay. You pay. Like CD prices sometimes on that freaking website, but uh, I go to thrift stores and I find cassettes for a dollar twenty five cents. And if, if it's usually Value Village that has the good music because I don't know if Christian thrift stores like like the same Vincent de Paul and stuff or whatever they seem to like throw away good music. Like they, I I think I swear they will throw away heavy metal because you never see it there. It's like of oh, come on over ten years. 11 years ago, I was like a little kid, early 2000s, late 90s, I've been collecting music and it's like, you never see heavy metal music there or hard rock, it's like, they, they friggin, it's like, it's of the devil, throw it in the garbage, like, I swear to God, if you went in their dumpster, you find good music in there, it's always crappy country and gospel music, like, I don't have, whatever, you like country, whatever, I'm not really into it, like, it's just very little country I like, but, it's, and it's always the, the Bible country, and it's like, I don't want that. I don't want Brass Pipes or whatever that one album is. I want some Megadeth. Give me some Megadeth. Come on, Megadeth. Come on, Peace Cells. You ain't buying, obviously. Or, I mean, whatever. You know what I mean. Yeah. I don't know why when I make a video, if I, on one subject, I ramble on about something else. I don't know. Whatever. Like, three people are going to see this.